After the second round, uh, there was a short listing and 5 out of the 11 students uh, were uh, taken off and they were said that there wouldn't be any further interviews for you but this is not the result but that was the result anyways and uh, my two of my friends from MNIT were not able to make uh, up to the third round and then we began with the third round the third round began with me having to tell about my project and internship and my project was on network on chip and I began explaining but network on chip has nothing to do with uh, web programming and uh, social networking so it was not very relevant to his uh, requirements so he listened to it uh, a little while and then he said okay we can continue with the interview and then uh, in the interview he said me that uh, I am asking you a question but if you have already done this tell me that you have done it we will move on to the next and better question and I said okay sir and then he asked me the question that there is an array of numbers and you have to find out the maximum contiguous window that is the biggest window you have in which all the numbers are in increasing order so I had a, done a question which was more or less on this pattern but it was a different question so I said I have not done this question and I began answering the question so the approach was very simple to this question you uh, take a pointer at the start of the array take another pointer and move this pointer towards the other end until you find that the window is has stopped increasing that uh, if it is increasing you move this pointer if it is not increasing you stop the pointer and find the length that is the difference between the addresses is the length of the uh, window you have seen so far and store that length now you take the first pointer put it at this pointer and begin the same uh, length searching again and if you find uh, that the length has again stopped the window has stopped increasing then you see the length if this length is greater than the previous length you found you update the length otherwise you leave the length and when you end up uh, taking your Q pointer to the end of the array you will see that the maximum length of the window is with you and uh, the question did not ask me to find where is the window otherwise you can simply store the addresses of the current window as well and the current window is always the maximum window so this was the solution to it and definitely they want you to check the bounding conditions that what if uh, Q exceeds the pointer, P exceeds some other pointer, something like that uh, which might result into a segmentation fault in your program so the bounding conditions was a simple check and I made a check over the program he pointed me to find it out, he said that there is some error I did it and I found the error and I fixed it up and the solution was complete then we moved on to the second question the second question was a little advancement of the first question he said me that you have found the contiguous window the maximum contiguous window the second question is that you have to find out the maximum non-contiguous window that is you have to find out a window of the from the array in which all the numbers are increasing so uh, this uh, uh, approach uh, this question I gave the approach that uh, we again begin with pointers and we find out the contiguous windows and make a merger of the uh, windows we have found but then that was not a correct solution and then I said him uh, that we could start constructing a binary tree from the array and in the binary tree the uh, entire left uh, child uh, linked list will give you the uh, maximum contiguous uh, window from down to up because the minimum element will be stored in the uh, corner because this is a binary search tree in which, it, in which the elements are automatically in the order then he, uh, he gave me a little variation in the array he gave me for the question and I found that the tree I constructed, uh, the pattern in which I construct the tree will not give me the right answer and I have to move on to the next solution in the next solution uh, the concept was the use of dynamic programming in which the array is searched for uh, increasing window length for itself and we fill up a table of n by n and uh, if the number, if a number is greater than its previous number then we fill an entry which indicates the length of the window we have obtained so far in this way if we fill up the table like we do in the longest common subsequence uh, concept we will end up with the maximum length and it can be backtracked to the positions on which the length has occurred and I don't know why I said that uh, after giving the solution I said that the solution is not correct and I moved on to the next solution uh, in the next solution I gave an approach of constructing a lower triangular table which is not of n by n but it is of n by n in which the upper half is not there and I found uh, the I made a match of these numbers with the reverse of these numbers uh, and finding the uh, increasing length again I made up to the solution almost done because he said me that you have almost done the solution and then he said me but we are out of time we cannot continue any further thank you and I left and that was the round uh, from which I was outside Facebook
some suggestions uh, and opinions I'd like to give for uh, preparing interviews, uh, one like Facebook and other interviews of such level, uh, is that uh, when you must have heard do the maths, likewise you have to do the data structures. So you'll have to practice a lot of questions like you used to do your mathematics in your school days, uh, hundreds of questions every day. And there is a lot of material available online. Uh, some websites like uh, careercup.com, geeksforgeeks.com, indiabix.com and some books which you will easily find online, uh, PDFs uh, like the Google Resume, uh, Cracking the Coding Interview and the Programming Interview Exposed. These are like a standard set of books for uh, your practice and you should practice all these uh, questions and books. On the websites you will find the questions uh, topic wise, say array questions, link, link list questions, graph questions or company wise say Microsoft questions, Amazon questions. You practice them accordingly every day, set a schedule for nothing else but definitely for this if you want to get into some companies like Facebook, you should practice the question on regular basis.